On the last video we took up dominant seventh chords, otherwise just known as seventh chords. We had uh, worked through the basics first, we had worked through the triads such as major, minor, diminished, and augmented, and then sixth and minor sixth, and then last time we took up seventh chords. And the seventh chord we said is the flat is the major chord plus the flat seventh, the lowered seventh of a major scale. So C seventh is like that. Now this time I like to take up what's called a major seventh chord. And by major they mean the interval between here and here. They're not talking about the chord because the chord is major in both cases, whether you play B flat with it or B natural, the flat seventh or the seventh. Okay. So M A J seventh is a symbol you'll see in sheet music and it means that. In other words, the seventh note of the scale plus the major chord. So here's C and the seventh note of the C scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is B, isn't it? So if you play that together, you have that, that sound. Now you hear a lot of that in uh, contemporary music because it has a nice, a nice... of sound. So let's uh, consider all of, all 12 uh, major 7th chords. We just played C, so what would F major 7th be? It would be the 7th note of the F scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice that the major 7th is always just a half step below, below the octave note. In other words, if you're talking about F major, then you could just go up an octave and come down a half a step. So that's F major 7th. G major 7th would be that, because the 7th note of the G scale is F sharp, right? D major 7th, the 7th note of the D scale is C sharp, so that's D major 7th. E major 7th would be like that, wouldn't it? The 7th note of the E scale. A major 7th would be like that, wouldn't it? The 7th note of the A scale. D flat major seventh would be like that, the seventh note of the D flat scale. E flat major seventh would be like that. A flat major seventh would be like that. G flat major seventh would be like that. B major seventh would be that. And B flat seventh would be that. So it's very, very simple. You simply play the major triad and then add the seventh, seventh degree of the scale to it, and that gives you a major seventh. Now next time we'll take a minor seventh, and that's a different animal entirely, but that's called a major seventh. So, so far we've covered two kinds of seventh. A regular seventh, or also known as a dominant seventh, or a major seventh, okay? And then there's a couple more that we're going to take up as well. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.